We are starting off in the classroom talking about lunches and there's a push for free breakfast and free lunch in all South Carolina public schools. It could be a reality under a bill proposed ahead of the upcoming legislative session. News 19's Becky Buds is live at the State House now. Darcy, at least 500 schools, which is about half in the state, provide free meals for all students through the USDA's community eligibility provision. This bill would incentivize all eligible schools to participate in that program. No one knows the difference between who was free and who was reduced and who was full pay. Fairfield County Superintendent Dr. J.R. Green supports having all South Carolina students receive free meals. But I'll tell you, it has been an absolutely godsend uh, not to have to worry about, first of all, uh, chasing students around for applications, and secondly, being able to provide that benefit to every student in the district. Through the USDA's community eligibility provision, schools get money to serve meals at no cost to all students. During the 2019-2020 school year, 63% of students qualified for free or reduced lunches. Republican State Senator Katrina Shealy, who authored the Free School Meals Bill, says it aims at getting more schools to participate. Most of these schools that are already um, participating aren't participating for every kid. They're only participating for those that are in a certain income level. According to Shealy, after reimbursement from the federal government, South Carolina will cover remaining costs for school districts, which some argue could be a pricey program. Put money into education. We put money into other things that we really should be spending it on our children's well-being. We don't want our kids to be hungry. We want kids to learn. We Senator Shealy says they are calculating how much this bill would cost per year. If approved, it would also require schools to provide a 30 minute lunch period for all students. Live at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. Becky, thank you. So far, Colorado, California, Maine, and Vermont have passed laws to continue providing free meals once all waivers end in June of next year, according to the National Conference of State Legislators. Well, to qualify for the community eligibility provision, the USDA says the school district must have a minimum of 40% of its students qualify for free lunch. And that percentage is based on how many students qualified the previous school year. If your school district does not participate in the community eligibility provision, you can apply for the free lunch through the National School Lunch Program. If your family meets the income eligibility guidelines.